Sorry to welcome back to more Bioshock. Hello. With less of me playing with dead things. Maybe. Maybe. That's a big maybe. Alright, doors are locked. Everything's not being here. Can you hear that? Hello? Hi. Oh. <laughs> I need to take care of that. Okay, hold on. There you go. Alright. Machine, you must do my bidding. There. Gotta get all the way up there. All the way up there. And, whoop, and one more to go. Anything good in there? Nope. Anything good in here? Yeah! A little bit of cat. More electric fuck shot. A couple bandages to take care of those uh, bullet holes they gave me. You know, nothing major. Oh, also too. There we go. Door's open. Alright. Search the bodies. Oh, I remember this. I remember this one all too well. Yeah, that, that was a fun thing where you can make the game crash. Well, we'll leave that alone for a little bit. I'll have some fun with it later on. Oh, yeah. Alright, what's going on in here? Oop. Oh, look, they gave me a present. Oh, another plaything. Yeah. Well, yes. I remember this one. This got me very, this got me the first time around I played it. It was it was really good. What? Oh, just like this whole thing. Alright, let's go over here to the cabinet for a Alright, and of course you see like there's an item over here. You know, so you got like speed after all that stuff. All of a sudden steam pops up. And it's like, okay, well, nothing about it. Alright, and then of course you're like, oh no! What's behind me? Hi, sir! <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> That got me so hard the first time around I played it. I still remember that. Tenenbaum. Sometimes I pity the little freak. Such a tiny imagination. Content to sit there with the tanks of Adam tweaking and optimizing. I need to create. Adam is a canvas of a genetic modification. But the plasmids are the paint. Yep. Some people like the boring stuff. What can you say? Alright. New engineering, Speedy Hacker. The most popular of the Hacks, uh, Hacksmart line. Speedy Hacker buys you the time you need to hack any electronic device. Time is on your side with Speedy Hacker. Yeah. That's one thing that, like, I don't get why some people... You know, that's like a lot of jobs that I've been going to, or like what? interviews that I've been do, uh, been going to. They always want to keep emphasizing how like how boring the job is. Yeah, I noticed that lately too. Yeah, they're like it's gonna be mundane. You're gonna be doing the same thing over and over and over again. And it's like I'm starting to run out of like you know polite things to say to the point where I'm just like, it's a job. Of course, you're gonna be doing the same thing forever. I mean, there's no other way around it. No, it's not. It's not a big deal. No, it isn't. It, it feels like they're making What's it What's Yeah. Happening? Who can truthfully say? Hey there. What for every day? Darling, is that you? Oh, wrong guy! How it ended one day? Did I get her? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll fire bad. Yeah. Armor piercing rounds are on fire. Oh, that's bad. Uh, hold on, let me 
Let me double check. I dream you're going away. Oh, there she is. She's in the corner. But yeah, that's like the one thing that I've, that's always when it comes to like when people say that you know it's gonna be mundane or it's gonna be boring or whatever. You always have routines and you always have. To I dream you're away. Yeah. It seems like nowadays we have you know, people, tumble. You have to tell that's them that they're expected to be Life's ultra really funny busy that. or funny or interesting or something. No, it it doesn't have to. I mean. That's the one thing that, like, I've always known, you know, and it's like, I'm, I'm starting to get annoyed with, like, the whole premise of it, where it's like, I'm emphasizing them or telling them that I'm okay with that. Like, I'm, I'm okay with it being boring and mundane. In fact, I would love it if it would be boring and mundane. Honestly. <laughs> that way then I know it's like, here we go. The only thing that I want to know about is it, is it going to be contract or is it going to be permanent? Mm -hmm. but, but that's the one thing that they always lie about. They they have no problem telling you, oh, it's going to be a boring job. They're going to be doing the same thing day in and day out. And it's like, no problem. I've done it before. I want to know whether or not I can actually relax for once and be able to just, you know, focus on other things. Or do, am I going to have to go ahead and apply for another job in three months' time? Like, even now, even though I have this other job right now that's pretty good, I'm already filling out applications already because, um, you I, have to. yeah, you have to. You don't have to. Yeah, that's, that's the thing that just like I hate. It's like I want to know whether or not it's going to be permanent or if it's going to be contract. And if you could just be open and honest with me on that, and then I can start focusing on other things. And even if. Contract. If it was a three month contract, that'd be a heck of a lot better. Yeah, if I knew. I mean, three month contracts are awesome. Small. Oh, yeah. Like, already after, like, as soon as you get the job, you already gotta start applying for other jobs. Exactly, you sure do. And then after one month of, like, experience, you can already put that on your resume there and already start telling, like, hey, I can do this. So, like, yeah. the next two months is just waiting for the to just sort of finally get a hold of you. That's exactly right. You have to do it. Yeah. That was that was a terrible thing that I did before with the other contract job. Um, working with um, it. You made the mistake of not applying for the job. No, because like they they reassured me like everything was fine or whatever. And instead of just being open and honest with me, just saying, hey, you know, this is gonna happen. Well that was a mistake. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 All right. Oh, there's a couple guys over here. Yeah. Hold on. You need to chop me definitely off this key. I'm digging the door. I called him. Oops. There you go. Watch that ammo. There you go. Keep zapping. I'm gonna grab that. There you go. And no. I'm gonna grab this before we have to go anywhere. It was one of the bugs that was actually in this game, where you could, um, 
ring that door while I was over there, and you could summon a ton of splicers. There you go. I can dig in it. See it's getting all chubby. Because I ring the doorbell and I summon a bunch of the enemies for an example. If you have to be able to start zapping in there. Yeah. They're all going nuts, it's all going slow. You can start zapping them until you start like shot. I think it should be done now. It took quite a few stabs. Parasite welfare. I got nothing. There you go. You see the giant group with them in there? Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens when you come out the doorbell. It would bring more of them over there. And then, of course. Oh, here's all the monsters I called. Even more over here. I, you can just keep doing that and actually gaining, uh, gaining money or other things. Yeah. All you needed was like enough plasmas. And you can just keep stabbing them because they're all in the water. They're all carrying like either pistols or uh, carrying weapons or melee ones. Yeah, that was that was definitely one of the bugs. So you could just keep ringing that doorbell, getting more people to come in, either like the leadhead splicers or like the the thuggish splicers. Yeah, that's one way that people got money. Didn't feel like crashing the game as well. This this is a small period of money. Just, just a tiny stipend. You can also stop over there. I'm going to hack you. Yep, you. Alright. Oh, no, no. Alright, off we go on a magical adventure. Hacking these. Is there another one? Nope. Oh, okay, cool. Just that one. Yeah. So you could always just have fun with that. You don't even need to use any, um, any of your weapons because if you hack like all the cameras and stuff, yeah. you could just simply just um, wait. You could just um, ring the doorbell once it's, once it's hacked. Let all the little robots come in and start shooting everyone so that way then you can just collect the loot afterwards. Actually, gain more experience or whatever, or actually able to gain more stuff. 
Alright, was there anything else around here that I needed? I think I got everything that I needed or wanted to grab out of here. All the extra stuff over here. I hear some more people just walking around. Hello. The darling is at Yeah. Still quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna go away now. They they they're they're wounded. They'll go after the hack machine. Water off. Yes, I am. Uh, I turned British after a while. Excuse me. Okay, where do I gotta go? I've been I've been dinking around way too much. All right, I guess it's this way. Other than the lock boxes, no. Ah, okay. We're good over there. Good. Oh, hey. I probably need fire now, don't I? No, wait, no, this is open. Okay, good. Alright, well, I've, I've had way too much fun once again messing around, so once again I lie. <laughs> that maniacal laughter says it all for me. <laughs> also, Welcome to the of value. I need some more of those. Also some more of that. Vodka don't need, shotguns don't need, pistols definitely don't need. Have been taken care of and it's only good. So we'll continue on in the next one. I got the telekinesis now, so that should help me out a little bit. I'm gonna end it right here and just say thanks so much for anyone watching. Have a good one and see you later. See you later. Hey there, Kabutor here. Hopefully you like Bioshock. If you like it enough, feel free to check out another video I got going on. Also, too, head over to my channel. See if there's some other videos you might like. And if you're already new to the channel, feel free to subscribe as well. Once again, thank you always. Hopefully you're having yourself a great day. See you later.